Friends, everything we see, touch and experience feels real. The solidity of the world around us, the ground beneath our feet, the chair we sit on, the sky above seems unquestionable. But what if reality is not as rigid as we believe? What if at the deepest level everything is not solid matter but something far more fluid, dynamic and interconnected? Modern science and ancient wisdom and personal experience all point to one startling truth. The universe is not built on physical objects but on energy, frequency and vibration. This realization has the power to change how we see reality, our place in it and even the nature of existence itself. What if I told you that the physical world you interact with every day is largely an illusion? At a fundamental level, everything that appears solid is actually composed of vast amounts of empty space. Take a chair for example. It feels firm. It supports your weight. But if you were to look at it under a powerful microscope, you would see that it is made of molecules which are further broken down into atoms. These atoms in turn are mostly empty space with a tiny nucleus at the center surrounded by fast moving electrons. Surprisingly, within these atoms, over 99.9999999% of the space is empty. In fact, if we were to remove all the empty space within the atoms that make up the human body, what remains would be so small it would be invisible to the naked eyes. The same applies to everything in the universe. So why does everything feel solid at all? The answer lies in energy fields and vibration. Electrons do not orbit the nucleus like planets around the sun. Rather, they exist as probability waves, patterns of energy that flicker between states of existence. The forces between these energy fields create the sensation of solidity, even though no actual solid substance exists. So, if everything is essentially empty space and energy, it raises a profound question. Is reality something we create with our perception rather than something that simply exists? Every object, thought and experience in existence is governed by frequency. Imagine a radio. Although we cannot see the waves carrying sound signals through the air, Tuning the dial to the correct frequency allows us to access specific stations. Similarly, our physical and mental reality is determined by the frequencies we resonate with. Scientists have discovered that everything vibrates, from the cells in our bodies to the most distant galaxies. Even what we call stillness is simply movement on a scale too small to perceive. This principle extends beyond the physical world and into emotions, thoughts and consciousness itself. Studies in neuroscience and quantum mechanics suggest that different emotional states correspond to different vibrational frequencies. For example, love, joy and gratitude resonate at higher frequencies. These states feel expansive, uplifting and energizing. On the other hand, fear, anger and sadness resonate at lower frequencies. These states feel heavy, draining and restrictive. It is no coincidence that people often say they pick up on good vibes or sense negative energy in certain places or around certain people. This is not metaphorical. It's a literal interaction between energy fields. But what happens when we begin to intentionally shift these frequencies. If tuning a radio can change the station we hear, can shifting our internal vibration change the reality we experience? In the 18th century, scientist Ernest Chladni conducted an experiment that revealed something astonishing about vibration. He placed sand on a metal plate and played a violin bow against the edge. 
as the plate vibrated the sand moved but not randomly instead it arranged itself into beautiful symmetrical geometric patterns these patterns known as chladni figures changed depending on the frequency of the vibration at specific frequencies the particles formed complex structured designs at the other frequencies they became chaotic and disorganized this phenomena known as symmetics demonstrates a profound truth vibration directly influences the structure of matter the implications are staggering if sound waves can shape sand into ordered forms then what effect do vibrations have on water plants or even human cells consider that the human body is approximately 60 percent water if external vibrations can shape water molecules it suggests that our environment words and even thoughts could be influencing us at a fundamental level ancient civilizations seemed to understand this principle deeply embedding it into their architecture rituals and spiritual practices friends throughout history many of the world's greatest civilizations have placed extraordinary emphasis on frequency and vibration this knowledge appears in their temples sacred sites and texts yet much of it remains overlooked or dismissed by modern science the pyramids of egypt are not just architectural wonders they are precisely aligned with celestial bodies and contain hidden resonance chambers some researchers suggest they may have harnessed vibrational energy for unknown purposes the hindu mantra om is considered the primordial sound of creation chanting it is believed to attune the mind to the frequency of the universe itself tibetan monks use singing bowls and throat singing to induce meditative and healing states the Schumann resonance a frequency of 7.83 hertz is naturally generated by the earth's atmosphere and is said to be in perfect harmony with the brain's alpha waves even nikola tesla one of history's most brilliant minds was convinced that understanding energy and frequency could unlock boundless technological potential he famously declared if you only knew the magnificence of the three six and nine you would have the key to the universe why were ancient cultures so focused on frequency were they tapping into hidden science one that modern society has largely forgotten if everything in the universe is energy and energy cannot be created or destroyed then what happens when we die many spiritual traditions describe the afterlife not as a physical location but as a shift in vibration some propose that the states we call heaven or hell are not places but rather frequencies of existence individuals who experience near-death experiences ndes often describe entering realms of light love and immense peace could this be a higher vibrational dimension others describe darker heavier experiences sometimes interpreted as lower vibrational realms some believe that ghosts and spirits are simply consciousnesses that have not yet shifted fully into another frequency existing at the edge of human perception this idea suggests that consciousness itself is a form of vibration and that what we experience after death is dictated by the frequencies we resonate with in life if this is true then could our thoughts emotions and actions determine what we experience beyond this life friends science has begun to reveal what ancient cultures have long understood the universe is built on energy frequency and vibration but this knowledge is not just theoretical it challenges us to reconsider the very fabric of our existence if reality is not made of matter but of energy if vibration shapes the physical world if consciousness is a frequency that transcends life and death 
then what does this mean for the way we live? Perhaps the greatest secret of all is that we are not passive observers of reality. We are participants, influencing and shaping the world around us through the frequencies we embody. Now ask yourself, have you ever felt something that defies logic? A moment where reality seems to shift around you. Leave a comment below and share your thoughts. If this article made you question reality, share it with others. Because once you see the world differently, you can never go back. Thank you for watching. And for more such videos, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Engineering Made Easy. And for more updates, don't forget to press the bell icon. Thanks once again.